gonna do a first impressions review of the new Marc Jacobs, what's the whole name? Velvet Noir Major Volume Mascara. Here are the claims. You experience 1800% more volume. That's a lot. Uh, and the look of false lashes, with Velvet Noir Major Volume Mascara. The lash maximizing curvy brush places the most volume at the hard to reach center lash line. Uh, and the Flash Volume Complex creates instant smudge free length and volume in three strokes or less. Three strokes or less? Okay, we're gonna have to try this because um, you guys know I have stubby, sad lashes. And so anytime a mascara has those claims, if it works for me, then it's going to work for the average person. So it comes in you know, a regular mascara tube. It's black, it's sleek, says Marc Jacobs on it. Obviously, I have the color Noir, which is their black color. Um, and here's the box. You get 0.32 ounces in one of these bad boys. Okay, so any other information, costs, links to where you can purchase it, I'll make sure to put that in the description box below. So let's get started. I'm gonna zoom you in so that you can see how it applies on my lashes. Okay, so this is what the brush looks like. I already like the fact that the brush is small because when the brush is too big, a lot of times it'll get on my lid. So let's try this out. It said three strokes or less. I think it has rubberized bristles, but let's try this out. One. Two. Okay, with two I see a little difference. Can you see that on camera? I'm not sure. Three. Now, obviously, I'm not going to do three strokes because that's just not going to work for me. Okay. Look, you can see my lashes now. That's pretty cool. So this is before. Can't see anything. And then this is after. Okay, so already um, I can tell you that, I, again, I love the brush because no product has gotten on my lids because this, the bristles of the brush are short and stubby like my lashes. So sometimes I can have a difficult time and the mascara gets on my eyelid because it goes through my lashes because my lashes are just that thin. Okay, so this is the second coat. Second coat is working pretty well. It doesn't seem to be clumping. However, I don't know that a third coat would fare so well with this mascara. There's a second coat. Yeah. So I'm pretty satisfied with that. I mean, if I'm not wearing false lashes, it's nice to at least have lashes, right? I'm gonna go ahead and do the other eye and then be right back. Okay, so I went ahead and uh, did both eyes. I don't know if you can see that. Um, because my lashes are so short and stubby, but I can definitely see my lashes now. It looks like I have normal people lashes, and they are definitely volumized. I went ahead and did three coats, and I thought that it would clump on the third coat, but it actually didn't. It turned out quite nice. Um, yeah, I also put some on my bottom lashes, which I never do, because generally lashes, like uh, mascara brushes are so small, but this one works perfectly. The size of the brush is perfect. Yeah, I'm really satisfied with this mascara. I think that it's actually the perfect consistency. It's not too wet, it's not too dry. So if you uh, don't like wet mascaras, I think you'll like it. If you don't like dry mascaras, I think that you'll still like this one as well. But I do love the Marc Jacobs Velvet Noir Mascara. So if you're looking for a new mascara and you're in Sephora and you're like, you know, I wanna try this, I would give it two thumbs up for sure because I do think that it does what it says it's gonna do. Now, I'm going to, um, see how it lasts throughout the day, and then I will put the final results of, you know, the wear test, how it washed off, and all that stuff on my blog. So be sure to check that out, and I will see you guys in the next video. Take care.